Hello everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name's Lauren and this is my allotment YouTube. It is gloriously sunny today, which I think is the reason why all of my neighbours have been out. Um, so I've been down this morning, but I haven't filmed because literally all of my neighbours have been here um, and it just feels a bit awkward. Um, but all I've done, nothing too exciting. The plot is pretty much covered with weed suppressant. So all I've done is put some extra behind me here um, and I've had a little play with a new toy that I've got that I will talk about shortly. Um, but yeah, so my weed suppressant just go in underneath these fence bits here um, which is actually pallets um, just to try and control the weeds between my neighbour and my plot. Um, that's pretty much all I've done. Um, I've pulled out some other weeds. Oh, I do have a confession to make and I'm sure some of you will think it's the worst thing I've ever done and some of you will be like it is what it is completely fine um, but we have to weed the front of our plot um, which is on the communal path which is a new rule that came in this year and it's annoying because I can't put weed suppressant on it because it's a communal path we have to sort of leave it open um, and we're not allowed to put anything on it so I have used weed killer on it today um, and I know that that's a big no-no. I know some people that I know personally will think that that's a big no-no and I will never ever tell them that I've done that. Um, but yeah, it was just getting a bit much to keep weed in it every time I came down. Um, so it's only a small area, it's not the best thing in the world, but I don't think it's the worst weed suppressant ever that I've used on it. Um, but hopefully it'll work to just keep those under control a little bit, but yeah. I don't feel great about it, but I've done it now, so needs must in order to keep the plot. So I just, I just get really scared about inspections because they are strict and I'm worried that they're going to come down and tell me that I haven't weeded the plot and give me my two weeks notice, basically. Um, I mean, aside from that, there are communal areas that they're supposed to weed and they definitely haven't, but... I'm not here for allotment politics, so I'm not going to say any more. But yeah, anyway, I've used weed uh, weed killer on it, and hopefully it just works. And then I don't need to think about it again. I made sure that obviously it didn't spray anybody else's plot or anything like that. I mean, it was nowhere near anybody else's plot. Um, and I just did the section in front of mine. It's not the best, but what can we do? What can we do? Um, that sun's just gone behind a cloud for a minute. Um, so I needn't shade my eyes. I didn't bring my sunglasses down. Um, but yeah, so I've had a bit of a cold. So I've not been out, but I'm fine. Um, I'm coming out the back end of it now, which is really annoying um, when I'm trying to film a video, but it is what it is. Anyway, very exciting. I mentioned to you that I had a play with one of my new toys that I've uh, got. So I'm going to insert some footage here. Okay, so that is my, I think it's called Saka, not Saka, Saka, I think it is, um, mini electric chainsaw, which I was very, very kindly gifted by Saka, 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 Saka. <laughs> um, but I've got it here, so this is what it looks like. I've just connected the battery so I can't accidentally press it um, whilst I'm showing you this. But it's very, very cute, isn't it? It's literally like it fits in my hand. Chainsaws absolutely petrify me because they're absolutely ginormous. But this one is great. It's just, it, it's going to do what I need at the plot. A massive chainsaw would be overkill for what I need. Um, but yeah, so you just pop the battery on there once you've charged it and that's it it was ready to go for me I didn't need to change the tension on the chain or anything like that although it does come with the tools to do that um, but yeah you plug the battery in here 
um, and it really handily came up on the plug with a red light and then as soon as it was fully charged it turned green so I bought it straight down here to have a little play um, but yeah so that's what it looks like it's got two buttons here as a safety feature so that you can't accidentally press it and it's also got this barrier here that stops you accidentally pressing the button it's got this cover here over the chain which is spring loaded so it moves as you're chopping through stuff and yeah it's done the job for me <laughs> um, so as I say this was very kindly gifted to me by Seika um, and all they asked me to do was use it and let you guys know honestly what I think of it. Um, they've not told me what I need to say um, or anything like that. So this is my honest review. Um, so it isn't a self-oiling chainsaw, which I'm sure if you were using a chainsaw for extended periods of time or things like that, it could get quite annoying. But for me, I will just pop a drop of oil on it and move the chain round and it'll oil. I don't know any difference so that's absolutely fine by me. I sew um, and I have to oil my sewing machine so to me it's not any different. I'm sure there's self-oiling sewing machines out there but that's a whole other tangent. Um, yeah so this is what it looks like as you can see it's nice and light to be able to use but it still feels sturdy enough to do the job. Um, I wanted it for all of these logs behind me they've got bits of the old branches that were chopped off um, still sort of there and they're spiky and they're annoying and I walk into them and I get stuff caught on them all the time so I wanted something to be able to chop them off which is what you'll see in my video was what I was doing um but yeah I mean it's done the job what more can I say um it's handy it's small it's not petrified me because it's not too big um and I think it's a great piece of kit the battery actually hasn't run out on me yet um so that's a good sign <laughs> I don't know exactly how long this battery will last but so far I'm yet to drain it so I think that's a good sign um I did purchase safety goggles which I'm really glad that I did so these were completely separate off Amazon I can link them down below um these were brought with my own money and I'm really glad that I had them because when I was using the chainsaw um there was quite a lot of um like wood chip flying off and not that any of it did get near my face I just felt better for having that um the goggles on so that I, it wasn't something that I was worried about and I wasn't too scared to look at what I was doing so I think I'd be a bit hesitant sort of stood back like that um if I was using it without the goggles on so yeah it made me feel really comfortable with what I was doing um so I definitely recommend making sure that you've got safety equipment when you're using your chainsaw um, but yeah, I'll pop a link down in the description box as well for the chainsaw um, if you do want to have a look at it. I think it's going to be really handy on the allotment, um, particularly because I've got all of these tree trunks here. Um, it's going to just enable me, in fairness, some of them are too big for me to chop up with that chainsaw because you shouldn't, I think it says it's recommended between four and six inches. Um, you shouldn't cut anything bigger than that. So some of them are too big, but that's fine. I will use them for other projects or I will use a handsaw on them. Um, but yeah, the smaller ones, certainly it's going to allow me to make use of these logs, chop them down into smaller pieces. As I said, chop off all of the scraggly bits on the side that get caught on everything. Um, like these bits here that I've started chopping off. Um, so yeah, I think it's great. And if I hadn't been gifted one, I was definitely going to buy one anyway. And had I bought this with my own money, I would have been really pleased with it. Um, that's just my honest review. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go home for a cup of tea and some more cold and flu tablets. <laughs> Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's just a really quick one from me. Um, just checking in with you. I didn't do a tea break Tuesday this week and I really wanted to. Um, but in all honesty, I actually finished work early on Tuesday, which is completely unlike me. And I was in bed from half past three in the afternoon. Um, so I was wiped out you could say with this cold um so it's been a bit of a pain but as i say i'm on the back end of it now um i'm already feeling better and i've got more energy so i'm sure i'll be back fighting fit in no time um but yeah what are you doing at your allotments at the minute i feel like i've come down here and i've not got a lot to do i mean there's stacks that i could do but nothing that's that exciting um one of my neighbours came down and she was harvesting cucumbers today and it's the end of October. How bizarre is that? The weather is just crazy.
crazy um but no such luck for me i've taken my tomatoes down as well today um actually that's another job that i've done um and composted them so they are all gone now and i've taken away all the string that they were tied up with um put it back in the shed so it'd be good to use for projects next week um next week next year definitely um but yeah what are you doing at the allotment i feel a bit I had my potatoes in these pots here. They've all died. We've had so much rain. It's ridiculous. Um, so I think they've just got totally waterlogged and rotted away. Um, I'm going to get my garlic in in the next week, I would say. I was hoping to have got it in this week, but it just hasn't happened um, because I literally haven't left the house um, until today. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to get my garlic in at some point. I need to plan that and where I'm going to put it. But what else are you doing? I've been to the garden centre. I went last week and they still didn't have the winter veg plants in. Um, but I'm quite looking forward to those coming in so I can get something else in the ground. But yeah, what else are you planting? What else are you doing? Um, let me know in the comments down below and yeah I will catch you next week otherwise hopefully for a tea break Tuesday in a few days otherwise um, yeah at some point next week hopefully um, but yeah I'll leave you with that really there's not much else to say I um, hope you've enjoyed if you haven't already please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one <laughs> bye bye